Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and today I'm going to show you how to draw this house. Um, I had planned to do other things but uh, my plans have been put slightly astray and I'm very sorry about that so I just had to do something quickly uh, just to keep keep things going. Oh I could do a little bit more grass in there. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Oh let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well I've tried doing this um, drawing three times now. And what's the, what's my problem? Well, one is I'm very tired. I spent the last three days in North Wales visiting schools. Well, it's visiting libraries, actually. Schools coming into the libraries. Because it's been Children's Book Week. And um, so that's been fun. But it's very tiring and a lot of driving. Um, so I'm just feeling a bit tired. And... Uh, what am I doing here? I'm drawing a house from a, a kind of a slightly bird's eye view. And I'm doing this because it will give us a, a kind of a slight lesson in perspective. And also because I can't think of anything else to do. <laughs> Sad is that. Um, why can't I think of anything else to do? Because I had everything planned to go I've got various videos all planned ready to go and I knew exactly what I was doing and I had an exclusive something's happening on YouTube and, and it didn't happen <laughs> so my apologies to everybody for getting you all excited um, about it but um, it's gonna happen but it's kind of I, I think it's Monday though hey, I'm not gonna tell you I'll, I'll, I'll just do it when it comes out because I'll just get everybody excited again and then we'll all get so um, so I thought various people have asked me about, you know, oh, how do I draw buildings? And that's just a really difficult thing to do because everybody who watches my videos on YouTube comes from different parts of the world. Um, so what am I doing here? Look, uh, uh, there's this kind of perspective thing going on. This is very shallow. Um, but what you've got, these two lines here, let me get a ruler to it, are not parallel. Okay, so they will eventually meet a long way back there at what is called the vanishing point. There's a video, I'll put a little link here, there's a video I did about um, an ocean liner which is all explaining um, about uh, um, what do you call it, perspective and vanishing points. So you've got a point coming out there and I think that's going to be, yeah, so that would be kind of about there. I've got a vanishing point here, which is just off, just off the screen. But I can, uh, so I can actually draw another line coming across like that, which will give us an idea of what's going on here. Um, uh, so yeah, so every house is, you know, it houses typical houses in different countries are completely different. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd just do kind of a typical kind of house that people might live in in Britain where I live um, and they'll probably quite often they'll have a a garage stuck on the side so it might be an older house that was built before cars did I say cars of course you know I mean automobiles don't I? <laughs> uh, now you see this angle is wrong because really that should be connecting up with this vanishing point like that and then that will be well, there's actually another vanishing point down here because look, these angles are are not the same. They're not parallel, are they? That's the word I'm looking for. I'm so tired. My my brain isn't can't think up these words. Um. So anyway, you know, it'd be an older house built before cars or automobiles, and so they've kind of tacked a ha a, 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 a garage on the side. I say garage. You may well say garage. Um. Garage. Sometimes we say garage. Um, and we'll have a little window on the side because I don't know. British garages are quite often used as workshops as well. Uh, let's have a little garden path and a gate and posts, fence posts, and maybe a bit of. So we'd have the. How's that fitting in? I'm just going to move this up a bit so it's all in the middle a bit more. There we go. How's that? Are we still in focus? I hope so. Yeah. And um, so we might have a little 
and fence and you know the driveway up to the uh, looks like it might need a bit of a curve to that actually so let's pretend that that's curving down and that might go off and you've got the street down here um, and let's carry on with the actually you probably have the pavement pavement you probably say sidewalk don't you <laughs> yeah, YouTube is so extraordinary I've had to really start kind of thinking in international terms and it's very difficult because there are some things you just don't know that you know words that other people use um, and you probably got your fence coming down and things like that how's that oh, yeah okay so um, how am I going to do this where are we five minutes um, and then an older building will also have a chimney on the top like that because in the old days pretty well every house was heated by coal or wood and but not anymore you might you might have a little I'm not going to put one in there no um yeah so uh, nowadays they'll all be um heated with oil or coal or oil or gas so there's not I'm just going to move it down again there's not um, there's not many are heated with coal anymore and um because it's so messy <laughs> and uh and it was choking up choking up the countryside and and the buildings and everything so we kind of had laws that stopped people burning coal um I said, a lot of houses have got fireplaces but they don't burn anything in them so uh right let's bring the roof down like that and then the roof will go and tuck up into there and and it kind of hangs over the edge and then you have a gutter to collect the rainwater now you see there's another thing you see you might not have gutters where you live because you might live in a i don't know in the pacific or somewhere a tropical and when the rain comes it just comes whoosh <laughs> and when it might normal like somebody emptying a bucket on your roof and um and it all just goes whoosh off and you make sure you're inside while it's all happening and once it's over you'll come out and the sun comes out and it all dries off again and uh, it's not like that in Britain <laughs> it can be really damp and cold and miserable and uh, no, that's up inside it yeah so that's okay um, and it can sometimes it can just drizzle there's a good British word for you drizzle um, the Scottish have an even better word because it's colder and wetter and damper in Scotland and sometimes it can just be drie in Scotland which is just like endless just a fine misty cold yucky grey damp and it all just comes down and it's just trickling off the roof all day long and if you don't have gutters to collect up the water and take it away from the house then the foundations start to rot and it's not a good thing it makes Britain sound like a horrible place doesn't it but it's not it's a lovely place and we have summers and sunshine as well but winters can be long and they can be wet and they can be cold so we have to kind of protect our houses against the elements and, and every country has got something that completely different that they have to do because of the kind of weather that they have. I know I went out to Guam and a while back in the Pacific and everyone had flat roofs and they had to paint them black to kind of reflect, or did they have to paint them white? I can't remember, to kind of reflect the heat and things like that. And um, and, and they had flat roofs because a roof like this would just blow away in a typhoon. And um, they were just slightly slightly angled I think their roofs just to let the water run off but um, they're basically just great big slabs of concrete poured on the top and then the older traditional buildings were all made with um, palm leaves which could I suppose you know in a really high wind would just blow away I don't know so there's the doorway so what kind of, oh, this is a kind of this is a kind of house that 
people would aspire to. It's a kind of a family house. It's the kind of house that you'd like to grow up in, but it's not not really the house that everybody does grow up in. Um, and you're going to see a bit of uh, the, the the thickness of the brickwork, and then I'm going to give these kind of old-fashioned sash windows, which, oh, I should have a bit more edge like that, there we go. And sash windows, um, they slide up and down, and they're the kind of traditional old-fashioned windows that you'll get, and the traditional old-fashioned windows are well, they never close properly. They're always, they've got a hundred years of paint on them, so they don't close properly. And they're probably rotten in certain places, but the wood is rotten. And <laughs> I'm making it all sound lovely again, aren't I? And they rattle in the wind. Uh, and a terrible draft comes in. And the houses used to have to have a draft with, it, with a coal fire. Otherwise, the fire would go out. And. Um, and you have to have a kind of supply of air to to feed the fire. Um, letterbox on the front. I'm not sure that everyone will have a letterbox. Our postman will come up the path, push the letters through the letterbox into the house. I think in the States you have those kind of boxes, don't you, down the street. And they'll have to find a line of boxes. Um, and I think you have a little flag up there to tell you whether this, whether you got mail. Um, but we don't have that here. I, it might happen one day, I don't know. We're just lucky we have the, the postman comes and he delivers the post every day. <laughs> he used to deliver twice a day when I was a boy. And sometimes even more, I think in the big cities you could, could, could get a you'd get a, a morning mail at breakfast and you'd get a kind of a mid-morning mail and, and then you'd get... Um, one at tea time as well, sometimes. You used to be able to post a postcard in the morning and expect it to be delivered by tea time. But that was a very, very long time ago. Well, it isn't that long ago. I, mean, I was actually... Um, you could do that when I was a boy. I think we might have a little bit of a, kind of a flower beddy kind of thing there, but I think you'd have a path coming round there like that, and a path coming round the side of the house as well. Ooh, which maybe should have more grass on it. But, oh, never mind, I've done it now. So let's do something like that. Um, and then this would be path as well. Pathway, did you... Did you say path? I don't know. Yeah. I think a path is a path, isn't it? I can't think what else it could be. Uh, so this is the driveway. I think drive is a fairly... Driveway is a fairly international kind of... Well, I can't think what that would be otherwise. Uh, where you drive your car up to the garage. Garage! Garage! <laughs> uh, So the, the windows, I do this kind of diagonal kind of um, shading like that, which kind of gives it a, a kind of a glassy reflection kind of look to it. Uh, we'll carry on up there like that. And another kind of, what do we call that? Uh, this is the, the bollard on the fence post. Let's have the, the gates kind of open like that to let the car come in. And you'll want to have that there. And then you've probably got a bit of a kind of a pattern where the car's coming up the middle of the driveway, kind of like that. So then the sidewalk, or the pavement as we call it, will then kind of drop down to at the current. Oh, you can't see that. Anyway, never mind. Okay. Is that on the camera? That bit is there. 
yeah, let's have a drain in the edge of the road. Um, and then that will be kind of paving slabs like that. Now, if you like this, don't forget to make a little like thing there. <laughs> Press the like thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like me to try and draw a different kind of house, I think it'd be quite interesting to get a little playlist together of different buildings, houses, buildings. Um, and Because uh, they're all kind of basically made the same kind of way, aren't they? But um, the same kind of boxy shape, really. But they all kind of look different because every country has its different kind of style, doesn't it? So uh, let me know, maybe kind of, you know, city things that you, you know, skyscrapers or factory kind of unit, that kind of things, or I don't know, Mexican adobe houses or something, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. So make sure you thumbs up the video if you like it as well. Um, and if you want to me to do more kind of how to draw houses um, make sure you subscribe where is that up there isn't it click the subscribe button um, so that you can come back and be so you'll get to know when I do new videos um, and let me know what kind of buildings you would like me to to draw and then I think I'll sort of slowly work on a kind of a playlist of different things but that I think is I think maybe I'll just do a bit of shading around there a bit of shading around there this is where I'll probably ruin it all now by putting this in um, that should work and I think we'll have a little bit of shading underneath there because this is actually kind of overlapping a bit there like that and I think I'm going to be very reluctant to do any more to that. So it kind of gives you an idea of perspective and how to build it up from um, it's kind of a boxy shape. And, and, and this um, 3D effect with the uh, vanishing lines, that's the word I'm looking for. That's the, the thing. So you've got the perspective and vanishing lines. Um, if I haven't explained perspective, well enough and you've gone and had a look at that other video that I showed you if you still don't get perspective let me know and maybe I ought to do a kind of very technical um, different lesson about perspective and if you want me to do that again make sure you're subscribed because otherwise you'll never know I've done it when I do it okay there we go that's enough for me today <laughs> and I hope to get back on track with my planned videos very soon probably early next week so but it, you don't really care because you're probably watching this in 100 years time i don't know <laughs> that's the wonder of the internet okay if you have been thank you very much for watching and if you've enjoyed that keep coming back to the shoe raider drawing channel and uh in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time okay take care bye bye